Hi guys, welcome to another video of Build with Autumn. Today I'm going to be building this really nice barn for you guys today. Hope you like to enjoy this video. If you do, please leave a like and subscribe. These are the dimensions of today's build. And the items in my inventory are the things we're going to be needing for today's build. The first thing we're going to do is that we're going to get our oak wood and we're going to replace the big rectangle corners. After you complete that, you're going to start with the top framing. Just begin like I do here and filling in the side. After you do that, you're going to want to start on the roof. Just follow what I'm doing here. After you do that, you're going to want to repeat it on the other side. After that, we're going to want to start on the side of the roof. Just follow what's done here. After our last step, just go two blocks up. Then a staircase. After that, you're going to want to place one block behind and one block above the staircase. Then you're going to want to place another row of stairs. Three of them going to the opposite direction. Then one behind and one up again. Then we're going to want to put another row of stairs. After that, place more oak wood plates, then some slabs on top. Just follow shown here. After that, you're going to want to repeat the thing on the other side. After you're done repeating the whole thing on the other side, we're going to start on the walls now. Begin by using the static texture on the walls behind the logs, otherwise it'll look weird, with your terracotta and brick blocks. After 
after you're done with two of the long walls, you're gonna do the small walls. Except this time, you're gonna want to leave a three gap opening. Make sure to also add some pillars for the opening. Make sure to repeat on the other side. And your barn is mostly done. We're not done yet. We're just gonna have to next fill in the top part. Just fill this part with bricks or terracotta, whatever you want. Doesn't really matter. After you do that, you're going to fill the top roof section inside with another mixture of terracotta and brick, but it has to be three high. After you do that, repeat on the other side. For the last step of the main barn, we're going to place fences here on the four blocks and make them touch the roof. Then we're going to connect the fences at this point. Repeat on the other side. After you do that, the barn is done. You can either stop here or you can use this part. Begin by placing the fences in the two outside corners. Only outside, not inside. And make them three high. After you do that, you can place these spruce slabs as so. After you do this, you have to repeat on the other side. After you've done that, we're going to have to connect both of the fences as seen here. After you do that, fill the inside part with oak slabs. After you do that, you can begin breaking the outline since you don't need them anymore and placing fence, spruce fences in place of them. After you place your last fence, just break the one behind because you don't need that anymore. And you're done. Oh, this is pretty good. Nice. And you're done with your good looking barn. Looks pretty good in my opinion. I designed this myself. And this is a, how you can make a cool diagonal barn. Because I think, like, um, regularly, when you build a barn in Minecraft, it looks fine. But diagonal, that just adds a whole new depth into it. So, I really hope you use this in your worlds. Um, yeah. See ya, guys.